I'm Nick James Archer. I'm from the photography department. Photography is quite a broad term in, in this department, so I also work in sculpture. So a lot of my work explores um, architectural spaces and reacts to the um, functional side. I sort of was finishing high school and I just felt like I had this energy to continue my art outside of school. And when I walked into the place, it just felt right, like it felt like home. And the way in which like the academics would talk to you and stuff, like it felt like, I don't know, the, the place to be. My name's Jessie, um, I'm doing sculpture and state spatial practice, and I kind of work with textiles and installation work. I was trying to find a way to make the fabric into sculpture a little bit more, like give it some more structure. I guess it's an interest in architecture, and home and temporary architecture particularly. I enjoy that people have to walk around it to realise that it's kind of, that you can get into it. As you walk around, you kind of become aware of the size of it, and then all of a sudden there's a kind of this porthole that you can climb into, I like the way that it envelops people. I moved down here from Canberra, and I've lived in a lot of different houses since I got down here, and there's kind of that idea of, I guess, I wanted to be able to take my home with me, or like make something that I could pack down, like the whole thing packs down, wrap it up and carry it off and build it up again. My name's Megan. I'm coming to the end of my course here in the painting department. This is my third year. I create sort of live installations. They sort of perform exchanges between objects. The actions between the objects or the materials are what creates the work as opposed to the artist. The thing that got me about VCA was, I feel like they treat you as an artist here. It's not just spending three years in a course or in an institution, it's spending three years as an artist and you get access to all the facilities within the studios. Most of your time is studio practice. It's a lot different to doing art at high school or art at even I did TAFE and it was, it's different to that again. It's more open. You sort of you spend a lot more time here but a lot less time in class. You have to find your own motivation as well to be here and to do the work. It's a pretty tight-knit department, like we all do make an effort to like be in constant dialogue with each other about our work. That energy sort of feeds us on and it's great. I spend about 12 hours a day here usually and maybe like a couple of hours of that I would say I spend talking to people. Each student does receive a small studio from which to begin to make work and it's a home base and it's a place to interact with their peers. My students come in with a kind of certain way of working that is pretty much dismantled and discarded by the end of first year. Second year is a tough year because they're putting it back together and then in third year we really do focus on grad show right from semester one. It's consuming, it takes a fair bit of time, it takes a fair bit of dedication. It's well supported by the staff, by the lecturers who are practising artists themselves and also the technical staff that we have here on board. Nothing is good, nothing is bad. What we really look for and what we require students to do is to actually generate their own work, generate and develop their own ideas based on their own experience of life. The key part of our teaching is done one-to-one -one in the student's studio, talking to them about their work and their ideas. So it's very much about the conversation and that exchange of information. The best way in which to develop your art practice is by taking risks and sometimes that means you fail at which you then need to reassess and then you, what is it that you do to get to that next level and often that will take the practice to an area you hadn't yet predicted. When I first came in here I thought I was going to be a painter. I guess after a year here and learning more about art and seeing more art, my work started to go from being paintings on a wall to uh, quite sculptural. Yeah, like it's a journey. I don't think I would have ever thought I would have produced this at the start of my time here. It's up to you and how you want to navigate your practice. I really enjoyed being here because it's not a typical collegiate kind of experience. A lot of times it's very quiet and you just kind of get your work done. If you need something, you can go have a chat with someone and say, can you, you know, just have a, like, just come look at the work or is this working or is this wrong or is this right? Like people are kind of there for you but they're also not crowding you, like it's not claustrophobic or anything. If you've got the drive and the energy to produce work and you're looking for a way in which that can grow and develop over time and looking for an environment which will support and foster that development. I think that's, that's, that's the reason to come really.